Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to check out the Housebeat HS18341 which looks a bit like a mini version of an RC from a company that spells like a pirate calling for its mum. Uh, you'll see what I mean. And there it is. Oh, and it says it's waterproof. If you know the fire team by Arma, this design should look familiar to you. On the box it shows the different body styles. This one being brushless but not having oil shocks. Oh, it appears you want it out. They do sell the oil shocks separately, but in this version they are already supposed to be fitted. On this picture it shows friction dampers, but we do get lots of metal parts and of course a brushless setup. Here it shows the different versions of the car and we'll be unboxing the red one. So I'll get my trusty pocket knife and unbox this thing. Seems like they have upgraded the remote control, it looks different from what I'm used to, but it feels very good in the hand and uh, seems to be pretty good for one-handed steering. On the remote you have three knobs for steering trim, steering door rate and the speed. You will also get your little Phillips screwdriver, a wrenching tool and the charger, plus spare clips. The instruction manual, which you should read, ooh parts. All right, and now for the car. This is metal! And they changed how you open the battery case. You had to unscrew it to open it. Oh, well, uh, hmm. <laughs> there you go. 1500 lithium ion battery, that's not bad. Cables are tucked in through a hole. It comes with lights, so let's see them. Mode on, car on, now let's go. Yeah, it looks nice, they seem very bright. So we got headlights and a roof bar. No lights on the back though. Now test the shocks real quick. Oh yes, it's actual oil shocks. Tires feel good and soft. It has been pointed out by other reviewers that it kind of looks like a mini version of the Armor Fire Team. So if you like the design of it, you will probably also like this car. And with all the dirt that's flying around, you need those helmets. Metal parts in all the right places, for example the differential cups and such, they do wear out very easily when they're plastic. Now let's look inside. So we do get a Deans connector or a T-plug with it. The 4000 kV brushless motor is in case, which I think is a good thing. 3-wire servo, which I hope is stronger than the one that they used to use. The chassis is still pretty similar to the ones from the 18301 or 18303, like what I used to have which means the parts should be interchangeable and for like 35 euros they were the best RCs. They're not as cheap anymore but we do get lots of upgrades. For example, I used to hate the plastic hexes. They used to wear out very quickly. All right. Oh well, the steering does need some trimming. Alright, now let's practice a little bit. It seems pretty capable even on grass. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what happened? Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is too near. Well, I lost the dog bone, but gladly I can use one from my older models and it fits perfectly.
Okay, we're back and it looks like nothing has happened. Now prepare for the montage. The servo is a bit on the weak side, it does veer off when you give it full power all at once. It wants you to slowly build up the speed, but when you've learned that, you're good to go. This thing is a lot of fun to bash around, and for about 100 dollars or 100 euros, it seems fairly priced. Hostbeat have done a great job upgrading their best RC car and make it even better. In that size and price range, they do have a great competition with the MJX Hypergos that also have a great setup for a fair price. If you like this car, I'll put a link in the description and also other suggestions. I hope you liked this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. 